Review 2016 Nissan Versa What's new for 2016 For 2016, body color power mirrors and a four-speaker sound system are now standard across the Versa lineup. The top of the line SL trim level also adds a standard leather-wrapped steering wheel. Introduction The 2016 Nissan Versa is a sub-compact sedan that's famous for its bargain basement starting price. But did you know that the Versa also offers one of the roomiest rear seats in its segment? That makes this economy sedan the natural choice for buyers who anticipate hitting the road with a full load of passengers. What's more, a remarkably spacious trunk means none of them needs to worry about packing light. Here's the thing, though, the list of standard equipment for intra-level Versa models is quite modest. And once you move to the upper trim levels with their more generous feature sets, you'll find that most of the Versa's initial price advantage has been negated. As such, this Nissan may make sense if all you need is a sensible, spacious car on the cheap. But if you're expecting much in the way of modern amenities, you might be in for a bit of stick or shock from less value-oriented Versa trims. Drive the Nissan Versa sedan back to back with competitors like the 2016 Chevrolet Sonic, 2016 Ford Fiesta and the new 2016 Sione and you'll find that its handling feels lackluster by comparison. The 2016 Hyundai Accent and 2016 Kia Rio also offers s acceleration, and all of the above provide more style inside and out. But if roomy and inexpensive are priorities for your next sub-compact sedan, the 2016 Nissan Versa remains a worthy option. Body styles, trim levels, and options The 2016 Nissan Versa sedan is offered in four trim levels, S, S+, SV and SL. The Nissan Versa Note hatchback is covered in a separate review. The intra-level S model comes with 15-inch steel wheels, body color power mirrors, manual locks and windows, a tilt and steering wheel, air conditioning, cloth upholstery, Bluetooth phone connectivity, a trip computer and a four-speaker sound system with a CD player, steering wheel audio controls and an auxiliary audio input jack. The S Plus gets a standard continuously variable transmission CVT, a rear spoiler and the cruise control. Stepping up to the SV model nets you remote keyless entry, power windows and door locks, upgraded upholstery and interior trim, 6040 split folding rear seat backs, a height adjustable driver seat with an armrest, upgraded instrumentation map lights and a USB port. The optional SV appearance package adds 15-inch alloy wheels, fog lights, chrome exterior trim and variable intermittent wipers. The SV Tech package adds a voice-controlled navigation system with a 5.8-inch touch screen, smartphone app integration, Bluetooth streaming audio a hands-free text messaging feature and a rear-view camera. The SL trim starts with the contents of the aforementioned appearance and tech packages, and it upgrades to 16-inch alloy wheels, side mirrors with integrated turn signals, keyless ignition and entry, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel. Powertrains and performance The front-wheel drive 2016 Nissan Versa is powered by a 1.6-liter four-cylinder that produces 109 horsepower and 107 pound-feet of torque. A five-speed manual transmission is standard on the S, and a four-speed automatic is optional. A CVT is standard on all other Versa models. In performance testing, a Versa sedan with a CVT went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10.4 seconds, which is about a half second slower than the average subcompact sedan. With the CVT, EPA estimated fuel economy stands at an excellent 35 miles per gallon combined 31 city 40 highway, though most competitors make similar numbers. With the standard 5-speed manual transmission, 
those numbers dip to 30 miles per gallon combined 2736. The four-speed automatic also gets 30 miles per gallon combined 2635. Safety The 2060 Nissan Versa comes standard with anti-lock brakes front disc, rear drum, traction and stability control, front seat side airbags and full-length side curtain airbags. A rear view camera is standard on the SL and optional on the SV. Another worthwhile feature is the SL's Easy Fill Tire Alert System, which makes it easier to add air to your tires by sounding the horn when you've achieved the correct sigh. In brake testing, a Versa SL sedan came to a stop from 60 miles per hour in 128 feet, which is 5 feet longer than the segment average. In Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Testing, last year's Versa sedan earned a top rating of good in the moderate overlap frontal offset, side impact and roof strength tests. In the small overlap frontal offset test, however, the Versa sedan got the lowest score of poor. The Versa's seat head restraint design was rated good for whiplash protection and rear impacts. Interior design and special features inside the 2016 Nissan Versa you'll find spacious front seats that are fine for short trips, but not as comfortable on long drives. The fact that lower trim levels don't have a height adjustable driver seat will put shorter drivers at a particular disadvantage, and the lack of a telescoping steering wheel can make it difficult for just about everybody to find an ideal driving position. The adult-friendly rear seats are worthy of special mention, though. It's almost unheard of to find six-foot of friendly legroom and headroom in a sub-compact sedan. In this regard, the Versa stands alone. Gauges and controls are easy to understand and use on the fly. The availability of a rear-view camera and a voice-controlled infotainment and navigation system is a plus, though as noted, Specifying such options takes a bite out of the Versa's value proposition. Practicality comes in the form of the large 14.8 cubic foot trunk that can be expanded with the fold-down rear seat backs that are standard on SV and SL models. Driving impressions The 2016 Nissan Versa sedan's 1.6-litre engine offers little in the way of excitement. Its acceleration is sub for the class, and it gets noisy in merging or passing situations when hard on the gas. This is particularly true with the CVT. Noisy engine droning is a common trait in CVT-equipped cars, but most of the Versa's rivals seem more refined with their regular six-speed automatics. That said, the CVT is still the way to go considering its superior fuel economy and because it comes with the higher trim levels. In terms of driving dynamics, the Versa's soft suspension tuning provides a pretty comfortable ride when you're driving over broken and rutted pavement. The downside, though, is that the suspension and the Versa's vague steering combine to produce unremarkable and uninspiring handling.